Hey y'all, what's up, my beautiful peeps? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gift Since Night Two, giving you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspiration quotes by me. The Queen is back. All right, so I know y'all, it's been a while since I did a new video. So I was so interested in doing this talk because I feel like for me, I kind of feel like it's okay, you know. Um, so let's get right into it. So it's about me, how I feel about trash music today, nowadays, mainstream music. All right. So here we are, you know, my honest thoughts and opinions. So sit back, relax, grab the popcorn. And like I said, you know, let's talk about it. Let's have a discussion. But your girl's been reminiscing. And like I said, I've been pretty much been like just listening to musicians that I grew up with, right? So it's like, let's just stay on topic about trash music today. I feel like mainstream, it is what it is. Now, I feel like it hasn't gotten a lot worse. Yes, indeed, it has. Um, I noticed that even mainstream radio, especially when it comes to certain radio stations, they play the same songs over and over again. Now, let me be very clear. It's, of course, you're going to hear a song that's going to be played over and over. But what I'm saying is that you got these radio stations, sometimes it depends on the trajectory of the target audience that they're catering to it could be like a hip-hop like r&b soul radio station or like you got the rock and like metal pop radio station or you got like the contemporary radio stations but i also feel like it's the same old same old like we get the same old same old mumble rap um mumble rappers taking over no disrespect like i said um, I just feel like I'm used to hearing something like that, really energetic, that feeling, that nostalgia. Um, and lyrically, it's okay to be creative with your lyrics, your bars. Then there are there's the pop music and that section. I feel like I know pop, good pop music when I hear it. And pop music can be infused with like R&B soul. It doesn't have to be like, oh, pop, pop. But it depends on the musician. And I feel like even the fans have, in ways, have tried to limit um, their favorite artists or musicians to one box. That's why I feel like it's best for most musicians to go independent because I've seen it all before. Um, and it's way, way better. Um, musicians get the more of that creative freedom. Um, they take control of their image, their artistry, and it's okay. You don't, you don't need to conform to the music industry's standards or what I like to call, you know, the typical BS because there are plenty of really dope underground independent musicians that we don't even know of or they're on the rise, but they're making sure that they stay consistent with their, you know, musicianship. And even, like I said, I really get into a lot of that especially with like like talented real talented I and that creativity and then and that like work ethic there are ways where musicians that can connect with their fans social media and then we got uh like you know even the music platforms but really there's not enough music platforms because musicians now they have to rely on social media 24 7 then, you know, the musicians, you know, it happens, get frustrated. I, I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't care. These the, the individuals, musicians are human beings like anyone else. It is what it is. So they want to vent and curse. And, and like I said, it's okay because they don't need to always like, they're going to keep it professional. But I feel like what's really frustrating is that the social media climate has went like skyrocketed. And even the topics that I talked about last time, 
And I said about how artists, they have a big, huge media, social media platform. They got all the followers. They got everything. But their album sales does not add up. Okay? Which is a red flag. Which I feel that really the marketing and to get the right people involved and to just focus on the music. Because I don't really think in my honest opinion, that's why a lot of this, there's a lot of like the extra stuff. Like I notice how people talk about, let's just focus on the music. Now it's okay to get creative. There's nothing wrong with that. Just go all out. Heck yes, because that's good. But like really mainstream music has really gotten more oversaturated with the mumble, rap. Hip hop is, to me, is has a lot of that, the feeling, the soul, the roots, the culture. Um, and, you know, like black musicians, they are the foundation of hip hop and R&B soul music, period. And um, when, you know, especially, and it's really sad because there are a lot of dope black musicians that deserve to get where they deserve, that have quality, okay, because they got it. You can really hear it. Then I am open for anyone, different colors that appreciate the music and culture and they enjoy it and they got their own sound. And like I said, they got that high caliber of talent. Hell yeah, because hip hop brings people together. It's diversity. But the music industry, let's get it popping because I have to be honest. I don't really feel, especially with the mainstream mumble rap, it just really ruined the essence of like, just ruin it just I'll say I'll say this I don't really mumble rap we know what it sounds like I like some of it I like like it in and even the sound even the production it has like that really grittiness that griminess it's infused with all the hip hop, army soul. This it has a little bit of soul, but it has more of like that ratchet lane mumble rap. And then there's no soul to it. So the lyrics are really elementary. There's a lot of like that really. It's like chopped up. Like it's kind of like that kind of like skewered kind of rapping. I mean, you can't really hear what these artists are you really it's it's a style I, i'll say this this is it's like it's like a style of lane but when you got like hip-hop artists they can even take that and create something unique and they can stay consistent like they have their own like you know they got their own like link and they can really infuse with hip-hop and a new sound because i personally don't really feel like i said hip-hop will never go away R&B music will never go away. Soul music will never go away. We're going to have to freaking save up our coins. And we're going to have to buy the music. Period. We're going to have to really literally buy the music. I say this because as a music lover, I'm used to buying music. Especially artists that really catch my attention. It's not just the musician. It's the overall, the music. Um and especially with the versatility and especially it's really really has been i would say in the past 20 years it has changed dramatically and i i'll, I'll start with like how hip-hop has changed so much because even the like underdogs of the real talented hip-hop musicians they have really seen it all they have said you know what let me i'm gonna hold down the fort let me push through never give up the ones that can sing or sing or write, um, produce, you know, for themselves and the rest of the artists, musicians to really help them out. Because it's really not really about, I don't really think it's about, um, it's it's really sad because it's more the biasness and the politics. And then the fans, they're also an issue because fans really ruin, they can't ruin you know a lot of things now you can have your different opinions you don't have to like like every musician you don't have to like it like it's just to me it's repetitive it's boring and then it's like even people have said 
the popular artists, musicians that even how fans it's okay to admire a musician but to have this obsession or have this like it's all that this is the reason why music is trash is like there's over stimulation of the same old repetitive production that beats the sound now i'm thinking like okay well the current generation of musicians and a future generation of musicians they're gonna have to bring it back so just you know most musicians are influenced by each other. It's okay. But when you have work and say, okay, let me find this. Let me take the ball on my court. Let me go. I got the sound. Just be careful. Be mindful. Just go run with it. Because a lot of times, most of these, the music mainstream, most of the music is repetitive. It sounds the same. I get bored. I mean, it doesn't really sound like, even I grew up with like music in the early nights. No, I would say, let me say, mm, 2000s, early 2000s music was a lot, lot better. Like millennials, we know because we grew up one six apart. We grew up with TRL. Yeah, we grew up with Rap City. We grew up with um, Spring Bling. We grew up with all of that. But no, none of that. And I feel. I feel that it's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. Because it takes a lot for musicians to really get themselves out there. To even promote themselves. You, we don't have no idea what goes on behind the scenes. But what I'm saying is that musicians, literally it takes years for them to develop a sound, an image, consistent with the fan base. So I feel like the issue is even with the mainstream music climate nowadays, if an artist is not mediocre or not lowering themselves just to conform, you're better outside. You're better outside and you're better just fucking snatch and slay and dominate outside. Just, just snatch. Because what, what happens is you will see and you will hear the, you know, especially with like, different sounds of music and then the music producers this is my honest opinion you have the right to agree with me or not music producers are not stepping their game up when it comes to like creating a new sound they're not stepping it up they're not even i mean i, I have to be honest i was listening to you know musicians that i you know grew up with and their music producers they said listen nobody heard of us we were doing our thing. We were pushing through. We got told no. I got told no. I got told no 20,000 times. I almost gave up, but I kept going. And I found something for my peers in music and worked with them. So it's like even like I miss the days where you could hear the traditional sound of R&B, soul, and hip-hop music on the radio. I miss the days where you can hear the really dope, euphoria, pop, sensation, soul music on the radio. I miss the days where rock and roll pretty much dominated, like every genre dominated. But I feel now, even with the trash music now, it's like it's going to take a couple of years for things to change because every, I would say, five to ten years, music's going to change. And the musicians that have the talent right now, they just need to hold on because they want to do it longevity. And I feel that as i really observe i sit back and i said to myself okay i go back and i listen to like the albums of musicians that i grew up with I'm like wow things really really change so much like it's not listen it's not that you can't be successful and talented and have that high caliber talent there's a lot of manipulation there's a lot of politics there's a lot of really messed up people in the music industry and with and any musician that she or he or they women they men to you're in a girl group a boy group you know whether you're a female solo artist or a male solo artist you're gonna really 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 find yourself in an apocalypse <laughs> you're gonna find yourself in a freaking apocalypse you're going to find yourself in like a 
apocalypse. Things are going to become thrown at you. You're going to have to duck, dodge. You're going to have to be like, no, your team and manager, they're going to have to get cut. But it's not about, in my personal opinion, I don't feel like there's no such thing as a perfect manager. But <laughs> there is a such thing of assertiveness. <coughs> what you don't want, what you do want. If there's a situation, sit back. If it don't feel right, don't, don't go for it, period. There are other opportunities, positive opportunities to get your music out. Because I've heard stories where it's like, yo, man, we got turned down by labels. <laughs> yes. We got turned down by a lot of labels and, and, and you know, and, and we got the right label. It happens because there's so much that goes on in the music industry. It's a lot. And it's really, really, really competitive. So, but I feel like just any musician that puts in their work creativity, they should be able to get the right team management. And I also feel that even with the music today, it's all garbage. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's just, it's, it's just lackluster. And I've seen musicians, especially that they have put in the work. And I, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but it can be the BS, the politics, the fans being stupid, um, you know, personal things going on in life and, you know, people trying to take what they freaking built, you know? No enough of that period because we don't really get to hear especially when it comes to like different musicians from different walks of life especially when it comes to like oh wow you know what this musician got this this is a new sound even the radio stations they're biased mm -hmm. yeah i said it they're biased because I remember years ago and even the previous generations where there wasn't social media. Like the not like before the 2000s and the 1990s, there was no social media. Um, and especially from like generations that like if they heard an up and coming new artist, they go to the um, there goes the disc jockeys. And then there goes like the radio stations. The radio stations actually gave a damn and they did have versatility, you know. And then the flyers and all that and the fans. And then that's what I'm saying. It's like they would hear a new song on the radio because they relied the radio. You got like a boom box, a radio station in your car. You got like something that, like, oh, this is a new record from Song So. This is a new record from. R&B singer song so or uh, hip hop, you know song so you know hip hop art song so you really don't and that's the thing. So I kind of feel like even we got to like 1990s and 2000s and you know we got to that and now just seems like um, the only way for these artists to get heard is social media, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that, but. I don't really feel that, and this is why I feel like people, fans should respect, you know, their favorite musician because especially there's some artists that I am really like, I love their music and their debut albums. And I feel that it's a lot that goes on that we don't know about. And then even social media that I have definitely had peep game. Because it's a lot of this, like, like so much about this brand, 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 brand. You can get a brand any day. Just focus on your music with these stages, connect, and then the rest will fucking follow through. Because I don't get, like I said, these brands, but it's fine for musicians to, like, snag a brand here and there. But it's just, to me, I just feel like it's too much. It's really too much. Because, see, really... Even listening to what people were saying about, yeah, you know, we just want to make sure, like, the music comes first. Now, um, mainstream music, I hardly listen to the radio 
I really don't. Unless it's a good song on the radio that I like, cool. But I don't listen to the radio as much. So that's out the window, right? And then I personally feel like fans should get back into message boards. How the message boards, I mean, there are message boards still that they're still relevant. But I don't really think that for mainstream radio, I feel like most of the musicians, they're going to have to find creative ways, positive ways to stay consistent. Yes, you stay connected with your fans, but you put the work in your music behind the scenes. And then you can, I miss days like you have like uh, probably every once in a blue room. I'm sorry, blue moon. Like you got the, um, you have the live stream. Like question A, question answer, cool. Um, and then people, like say fans, like, well, we want, you know, like the musicians should stay active on social media. It doesn't work like that. Should really, musicians should, and, and I noticed it got a lot of toxicity, which is really sad because you have to really, as a musician, you got to really put in the work to make sure that you stay consistent with your fans and, and it's important. I'm not saying like you have to be on social media 24 seven, no, but let them know, Hey, you know, we're working on this or sometimes don't even let them know, but just in a way, just give them gems and hints and like, okay, yeah, we still, you know, we doing the damn thing and whatever haters or whatever. Now, as far as, um, you know, how, what do I expect uh, next year? Um, We'll see. You know, I, I just want to make, I, I just, I'm really excited because I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm really excited because I feel like we should, fans, we should hear more from even the artists that deserve to get more exposure. They deserve to get more um, platforms on like music platforms. And also, also what I would love to hear um, I would like to see like award shows marketed to black musicians, not just BET, not just Soul Train Awards. Now, there needs to be one more. Oh, and the hip hop awards. One more. But now, except for Soul Train Awards, they slay, period. So I ain't, I, they, I, they, I mean, it's great. I'm not worried about that. The BET Awards. We're going to have a discussion, period. The Hip Hop Awards, we're going to have a discussion, period. Mm -hmm. And one more, a new award show, we're going to have a discussion, period. Mm -hmm. We're going to have those three. That's it. That's it. Because I feel like, you know, we're just going to have to, you know, keep the ball going. We're going to have to keep the ball going. And then, you know, artists, musicians on the rise that I, you know, promote the music and, you know, and stay consistent. I'm just going to say this. I'm going to be like, yeah, yeah. We're just going to have to, like I said, fans just support and not only just support, but like I said, you know, it was a new single. Um, a new album, a new EP, a new mixtape. Like, you're going to have to really, like I said, we want, we really want to see, especially talent, really dominate, okay? They're going to have to dominate. And, and what I mean by dominate, just do it, period. Because what happens is, and even, like, tours and concerts, and I'm telling y'all, it's worth it. It's worth it. Even it may it be an artist, a musician that you grew up with, of your generation that people before you grew up with, I'm telling you, it's worth it. And like I said, you know, just take that, just take, just take the ball and go with it, run with it. Because a lot of times when I was listening to like special artists that I grew up with, and I said, wow. Then I hear all the stories about how the fans are like, yeah. If we went to see Sonso back like back in 19 something something and that freaking tour was amazing. Yeah. I tell you what, this it's a lot. 
because I feel like mainstream radio, they also are biased to certain musicians, artists that because they're not what the, you, you know, it's either this BS, well, you don't have star power, you don't have this and that, they compare them to different musicians. And I'm like, or you know how the charts and billboard, it's all rigged anyway, because a lot of times I'm like, what? Really? Streaming services is like rigged. Really? Or, you know, like I said, even when artists have that popularity and they don't sell or live up to the sales based on their popularity. Really? I'm just saying, guys. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? What are your honest opinions? What do you feel? How do you guys feel about mainstream music today? Because I freaking, I freaking really would love for people to have this dialogue with me because I, I know sometimes it's like, you know, girl, I, I just be doing things outside and I'd be like, yo, you know, kick it up a notch, you know? So I feel like listening to like different perspectives and seeing how, yeah, we really like music fans and lovers really want to see, you know, mu music, music will always change. You know, music is going to change regardless, wherever, you know. But my thing is, I feel like listening to, um, you know, people's opinions and perspectives. And it, it also got me like, yo, that's right. And, you know, my mind where it's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Because you literally can really, like, tell things are going to go into a different direction. Even into a different direction of music. And I feel like as a music lover, and especially what I want to see, like, especially like the artists that they got it. It's just the right team, the management, the promotion, the consistency of releasing music. Not all willy nilly, but fans have to support positive ways and also make sure that, you know, you just just make sure be aware about things you know just make sure like yo because i'm really excited for next year um i'm really excited to see like i said especially like when musicians in r&b soul hip-hop uh regardless of different whoever just bring their a-game release the debut albums next year and like i said i mean it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of patience but at the same time you got to move and I feel like just listening to my, you know, you know, just, just feel, I just feel like, yo, we're going to have to really, like I said, mainstream radio, it's going to be what's going to be. But, hey, you got musicians that can really break the cycle and really redefine a new sound, a new genre, everything. Just make sure that you just keep in mind about things. So with that being said, guys, um, what do you guys think? How do you guys feel? Uh, stay tuned on the next episode of Gifts This Night 2. Let's have a discussion. Let's get it popping, shall we? So with that being said, um, yeah, this is how I feel about music, you know, trash music today. And yeah, so you guys can have the red carpet. Um, so stay tuned on the next episode of Gifts This Night 2. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. As always, stay tuned on the next episode. Give since 92. Dragon Ball Z narrative reference. Peace. Bye-bye, guys. Exit out. Super Saiyan's out.